In this video, you will see a very interesting real-world use case of AI. You see, the most important thing for YouTube video creators is to understand their audience. They need to read their viewers' minds to understand their likes and dislikes. Only then, creators can create quality content that is desired by their viewers. YouTube comments are a goldmine for this. There is so much of useful information buried in those comments, but with thousands of comments on each video, it's impractical to go through each comment and identify patterns and action items. In this video, I will use AI to decode the thousands of comments on YouTube videos and generate useful insights that can be used immediately to create better content. And it will help us to understand what kind of content people are looking for. Even if you don't have any experience in programming, by the end of this video, you will be able to run this AI program in the cloud yourself and understand your viewers or someone else's viewers' likes and dislikes. So stick around till the end, hit the subscribe button if you haven't yet, and let's get started. So there are three major parts of this video. First, we are going to do a quick recap of four technologies we are going to use in this application. Second, you will see how you can use this application. Third, we'll do a walkthrough of the notebook while also executing the demo. Let's do a quick recap of the technologies used in this video. First up, we have YouTube APIs. These APIs allow developers to interact directly with YouTube to create, fetch, and manage content on the platform. We use these APIs to automate video uploads, retrieve video details, and manage playlists. In our demo, we will use these APIs to fetch the comments of the YouTube videos. YouTube Transcript API is a third-party Python library that fetches transcripts from YouTube videos. It's open source, so anyone can use or improve it. We will use this tool to extract the transcript of the video. One thing to note, is that it only works for videos that have captions available. OpenAI's GPT-3 is an advanced language processing AI model, which is provided by OpenAI company. GPT-3 can understand and generate human-like text based on the input it receives. In our project, it helps in creating summaries, analyzing comments, and generating insights out of them. Fourth is sentiment analysis model from Hugging Face. Now, Hugging Face is a company that provides tools for building and sharing machine learning models. They offer an open source library that anyone can use to experiment with AI. Sentiment analysis model is part of their free offerings. This model is designed to quickly understand if text is positive, negative, or neutral. Now, let's quickly see how you can use this notebook. I'm using this platform called Google Collab, which lets us run our Python code online on the cloud for free. It has a paid version that gives access to more powerful machines. But for our use case in this video, free account is good enough. You can find the link to this Collab notebook in the description of this video. All you need to do is open the link and clone the notebook in your account. You can do that by clicking on File and then clicking on Save a Copy in Drive. And it will copy the notebook in your Google Drive. Now let's go through the notebook and understand what's going on here. We will use YouTube Transcript API to extract the video transcript. Then we use YouTube APIs to extract the YouTube comments. And then we use GPT-3 to generate insights on likes and dislikes in the context of the video. And finally, we use sentiment analysis model from Hugging Face to understand the intent of people towards the content, whether it's positive or negative. Now, to be able to interact with these services, we need the API keys for each of them. Let's take a quick look how to get the API keys. For YouTube APIs, you can go to console.cloud.google.com, click on APIs and services, search for YouTube at the top, and you'll see YouTube Data API V3. Open this and enable this API if it's disabled for you. Once this is enabled, click on credentials, and then click on create credentials, and click on API key. It will create a new API key for you. Next, we need an API key for OpenAI. If you don't have an account, in OpenAI, you can create a free account, then click on API keys, and click on create a new secret key. And finally, we need an API key for Hugging Face. For that, you can create a free account in Hugging Face. If you don't have one, then click on settings, click on access tokens, and create a new token. Once you have these keys, you need to input them into the secret section here in Collab. So click on secrets and uh, one by one, put each of the API keys here and make sure that you enable the notebook access for each of these keys. Also make sure that the name of the secret should be exactly same. 
For hugging face, it should be HF underscore token. For OpenAI, it should be OpenAI underscore API underscore key. For YouTube APIs, it should be YT underscore API key. Now let's go through the code and see what's going on here. First of all, we import the necessary libraries and then we define our API keys and we provide a YouTube video ID that we want to analyze in this demo. For the purpose of this demo, I have randomly selected this video from Network Chunk that talks about running your own private AI. It has around 2200 comments and let's analyze this video. I have already run this. Let's move on to the next section, which is fetching YouTube video transcription. In this section, we fetch the transcript of the video using YouTube transcript API. And once we have the transcript, we pass the transcript in another function called get transcript summary. This function makes API call to GPT-3 model and asks it to summarize the transcript of the video. As you can see, it has printed the summary of the video. In the next step, we will fetch the YouTube video comments. We pass the video ID and Google API key in the get comments function and this function will make YouTube API calls to get all the comments of that video. It takes care of the pagination where there are large number of comments and all the comments can't be returned in a single response. As you can see, it has printed all the comments that it saw on that video. In the next step, we will summarize the comments. We use OpenAI's GPT-3 model to summarize the comments and link these summaries to the transcript. Now there is a limit of about 4096 tokens per request for GPT-3 and this includes both the words we sent in the request and the words we get back in the response. We need to avoid getting out of this limit to avoid incomplete responses. For this purpose, we create batches of comments and we make separate requests for each of those batches to get a summary. As you can see, first, we call the function batch comments. It receives the batches of comments. Each batch will contain a couple of comments. Next, we call another function called get comment summaries. Now this function will make GPT-3 API calls and it will ask GPT-3 to summarize that particular batch. So in response, we'll get a list of summaries corresponding to the batches we passed. And in the final step, we will call another function called create final summary. And this function will again make an API call to GPT-3 and it will ask it to summarize all the summaries for all of these batches in the context of the video. So the role of the system that we define here is something like this. This is the summary of a YouTube video's transcript. A user has commented on the video. Your task is to analyze this comment in the context of the video transcript. Based on the comment content and its relation to the transcript, please provide detailed insights addressing these key points. First one is identify positive aspects of the video that the comment highlights and link these to the specific parts of the transcript where possible. Second is identify any criticisms or areas for improvement mentioned in the comments and relate these to relevant sections of the transcript. And the third one is based on the feedback or suggestions in the comment, recommend new content ideas or topics for future videos that align with viewers interests and overall content strategy. But don't make things up from your own side. Ensure your analysis is clear, includes specific examples from both the comment and the transcript to support your insights. And we pass the transcript summary to the system and then we pass the summary of all the comments. So it will try to match these comments to the transcript summary to give us meaningful insights. As you can see, I've already run this. It took uh, over a minute to run this because it made multiple requests to open AI because there were more than 2000 comments. And here it shows us the detailed analysis. We asked for three sections, the positive, the negative and, and the improvements and then the recommendations for the future content. So this is what it has given us. In the positive aspects, it talks about interest in running AI models on personal devices. The comment reflects an interest in running AI models privately on personal devices. So it says that the people, the viewers were kind of interested in this topic and they were seeking guidance on installing and setting up AI models on various platforms. Then it talks about appreciation for tutorial content. Users expressed appreciation for the informative and entertaining content of the YouTube channel. Next, it talks about interest in ethical hacking and cybersecurity. In the next section, areas for improvement and criticisms, it talks about the limitations and challenges with AI models. Users expressed frustrations with limitations in GPU memory for running large AI models, software capability issues, and difficulties in running specific AI programs on different setups. Then it talks about the concerns about data privacy and security. The comment section highlights 
concerns about data privacy risks associated with cloud-based AI. And then it talks about the recommendations for future video content. Detailed tutorials on overcoming technical challenges. Given the user's interest and struggles with software installations, GPU compatibility and running AI models on diverse setups, the channel could create in-depth tutorials focusing on common technical issues. So this is a good suggestion. Exploration of ethical AI applications. To address user concerns about AI ethics and privacy, the channel could produce videos discussing ethical considerations in AI development. That's another good suggestion. Practical guides for AI security and privacy. To cater to viewers seeking to enhance their understanding of AI security practices, the channel could create content focusing on best practices for securing private AI systems. So I think these are really good insights that we are seeing on this particular video. Now this is just for one particular video, but it can be extended to a large number of videos on a channel and get more powerful insights on the kind of content that is being created. Let's move on to the next step and uh, let's plot a graph that shows the positive, negative and neutral sentiments of the people in the comments. So we'll install uh, Transformers Matplotlib for this and we'll pass all the video comments to the Get Sentiments function. This Get Sentiments function will use the sentiment analysis model from Hugging Face and it will try to categorize them into positive, negative or neutral. Once it, it receives all the sentiment counts, it plots the graph. I have already run this. It took a couple of seconds to run and this is what it has plotted. It shows 66.4% of the comments were kind of negative, 24% were kind of positive and 9.6% were neutral. Now one thing to note here is that the 66% negative comments doesn't necessarily mean that the comments were negative for the creator or the content. People may talk about certain topics like safety and security related to AI and they might have negative point of view towards those technologies. And this model will consider all of those comments as negative. That's why we see a huge number of comments as negative here. You just saw how AI tools can analyze YouTube comments and transcripts to provide powerful insights. This process isn't just limited to YouTube. It can be applied to any content that receives viewer feedback, making it a powerful tool for content strategy. If you found this demonstration helpful, don't forget to like, subscribe and click the bell icon for more updates. I encourage you to try this notebook yourself, tweak it, improve it and use it to explore new insights from your own video content. I will keep posting more videos showcasing the practical application of AI. Thank you for watching and keep innovating with AI.